Good YouTube, it's Gary Wood, just another fan TV. Back at you another video. Like the content of this video, go ahead, smash that like button, like the content of this channel. Go ahead, hit subscribe, man. Talk about the Baltimore Ravens on a daily basis. Uh, if you want to hear about that, definitely hit that subscribe button. Uh, so the Ravens made a lot of different moves today, a lot of moves that we got to cover. So this is gonna be a Ravens news video just to get everything out that pretty much happened today with the Baltimore Ravens. Okay. Now, firstly, the Ravens uh restructured Ronnie Stanley's contract. Creating about six million, six point four million dollars in cap space, something around there, leaving with the Ravens with about fifteen million dollars in cap space in total. Now we know they've been trying to sign guys like King and Drake. Obviously, that whole fifteen million is not for him. Obviously, they're going to use it to do that, uh, practice squad guys, any other sign thing that they may have in the future. Um, also, you know, the Costa has brought up in the past that he likes having cap flexibility just in case a trade comes about that he wants to do. I remember last year, or maybe was it two years ago, he said he couldn't make a move because the Ravens were so against the cap that there was nothing that they could do, right? So now going into the season, he looks like they, they have that kind of cap flexibility, and they've done a couple things today, made some moves. So let's go over what the Ravens have done today, right? All right. Now, first piece of news that was kind of, it was a little shocking. The Ravens decided to part ways with Tyree Phillips. So he's been cut. Um, he's only started, I think, around like 13 games for the Ravens. Um... He just did his development just never came along. Whether it was at guard, whether it was at tackle, it just never came along. And when he lost his position battle to Ben Powers in this offseason, it seemed like his time was up and the Ravens, you know, they, they cut him. Now, if you would have told me in the beginning of the training camp that Tyree Phillips would be cut and Ben Powers would be the starting left guard, I'm not saying I wouldn't have believed you, but it would have took me a while to really take that in, honestly. Just because it seemed like, I say this all the time, ben, ben Powers was so far in the back, so far in third place, that it was Tyree, Ben Cleveland. Then Ben Cleveland misses a couple of days with the conditioning. Okay, it's Tyree's job. He doesn't really snatch it. And uh, his pieces and performance, he was just okay. He had a couple of penalties, a couple of uh, false starts, I believe. He just didn't do enough to, one, secure that left guard position, and two, to secure a spot in the Ravens. So the Ravens currently still have 10 offensive linemen now on the team. Um, guy I'm looking at that could be gone next is a Tristan Colon to get the Ravens down to nine offensive linemen, just because you don't need to carry three centers, all right? Uh, Linderbaum, McCarry plays all positions, so, you know, I'm accounting them as a center in, in this scenario. And Tristan Colon. Tristan Colon hasn't done much, and when he has played, he hasn't been that great. So I, maybe the Ravens are trying to find a trade partner for another team that needs a center. Maybe that's the reason they hold on Tristan Colon, but I don't expect him to be on the roster much longer. All right. Now, uh, I do want to bring up that Tony Jefferson is on a new team. Tony Jefferson decided to sign with the uh, New York Giants. Obviously, over there with Martindale, um, they've claimed a couple of Ravens players. Chuck Wiley. Um, they had Jalen Moore, but they, they released Jalen Moore a little bit. A little bit ago. So Tony Tony Jefferson. So on the New York Giants. So all the best of luck to him. I'm not going to say I'm overly upset by it. His outside of the last game versus the Commanders, his preseason was a little shaky, man. Missed tackles. Um, just and he's not the greatest player in coverage. Okay. We like Tony Jefferson. We love Tony Jefferson. If the Ravens would have brought him back, I would have been fine with it. So I'm not going to say like say it like that, but I'm not going to uh lose sleep over the fact the Ravens lost Tony Jefferson. So hopefully he has success over there with the Giants, okay? Um, now the Ravens have put, you know, Kolar and Ojabo on IR, presumably that they, they, they haven't made that news official yet. But the reason I'm saying that is because the reporters noticed that Brent Urban was practicing and he was cut. So obviously we had to be resigned to be doing that. And that King and Drake was out there. The Ravens haven't officially announced the signing of King and Drake. As I'm recording this video, they could do that by the time I drop this video, but he was out there. So King and Drake is officially on the Baltimore Ravens. Brent Urban has officially been brought back to the Baltimore Ravens. All right. Uh, King and Drake leads, uh, not leads, but he will be a great addition to a three-headed monster that will happen at some point in the season of J.K., uh, Drake, and Gus Edwards. That is a really formidable running back trio. Uh, I'm excited to see that. And Kenyon Drake is a good pass-catching running back. A lot of stuff that they want to do with J.K. Dobbins, they obviously can do with Kenyon Drake. Uh, I think J.K. Dobbins will still get a lot of chances this season to catch passes. Uh, it's just going to be, you know, Kenyon Drake's going to be in there in the mix as well. All right. And good to have Brent Urban back. The Ravens needed some more guys in that interior offensive line, so it's good to have him back as well. Now the now the Ravens have also made their practice squad. There are 15 players that have been named to the Ravens practice squad. Now you get to keep 16 in total. Um, they haven't filled out that that last spot. I saw a comment that said maybe that last spot was supposed to be for Tony Jefferson, and since he's on a different team now, that spot is kind of open. They'll see see what they do with it with uh, somebody else. 
like you know i, I kind of th agree with that thought process like oh they were expecting tony jefferson to come back he decided no i'm gonna go elsewhere my opportunity so you know no hurt feelings there now practice squad one quarterback uh anthony brown so good to have him back one running back tyler Beatty, the sixth round pick did come back uh one fullback ben mason three wide receivers Kai Polk, Benjamin Victor, Riley Webb, all back on the team, or well, on the practice squad at least. Uh, two offensive tackles, David Sharp, uh, Khalil McKenzie. Uh, two defensive linemen, Isaiah Mack. I'm glad to have Isaiah Mack back. He was a real, real force in the preseason. He really impressed me from what I saw from Isaiah Mack, so I'm glad that he's back on the team. Uh, and Rashad Nichols, he was also pretty good in the preseason as well. Uh, two outside linebackers, uh, Jeremiah Moon. And Stephen Means, I expect Stephen Means to be on the active roster on game days at some point because the Ravens still only have two guys right now that's currently on the active roster. So we'll see how they move it around. But I expect a guy like Stephen Means to get playing time this season, unless the Ravens sign one or two more guys. So we'll see what happens there. All right. And three, sorry, yeah, no, three defensive backs. So two corners, Kevon Seymour, Daryl Worley. Kevon Seymour has that ankle injury, but I guess it's not serious enough to put him on IR. So He's on the practice squad. And Daryl Worley had an interception in the first preseason game. So he was he was all right versus the Titans. So uh, he was okay. Um, you know, Ravens like to have as much depth as possible in that cornerback uh, position. So understandable. And last guy that brought back to the practice squad, I really didn't think the Ravens would be able to get this guy back, but I'm glad that they did. And that's all Darius Washington. So I'm glad that he's back on the team. Uh, really versatile corner. If somebody was to go down with an injury and they, they were to elevate our Darius Washington, I would have no worries about that. So I'm really glad that he was able to make it back on the team. Now, lastly, there are three guys that went to the Ravens IR list after after clearing waivers. That's Jamar Bridges. Apparently, he posted on his Instagram that he's going to need surgery. Um, Dalen Hayes. Uh, so, you know, he'll be out for a little bit. And Aaron Crawford. Good to have Dalen Hayes back. Hopefully, that his injury doesn't set him back too far. Um, and, you know, he'll miss that. I believe he'll miss the first four weeks of the season at minimum. And hopefully we can get him back. I was really counting on Dylan Hayes to have a really productive kind of season this year. Uh, hopefully that can still happen for him. Okay. Now that's kind of the major Ravens news that happened today. Uh, tell me what you guys think about some of these moves in the comments. Um, I really didn't think the Ravens would get all these guys on the practice squad back. So I'm glad that they did. It gives the Ravens a nice uh, depth act in the practice squad that if guys get injured. There are some guys here that are capable that you can call up. Um, I'm glad that Shamar Bridges and Makai Polk was still, still able to be Ravens. Hopefully they, these guys can develop. And maybe we get something out of them, whether it's this year or next year. You know what I mean? I, I really like those guys. Even Riley Webb as well. Um, and, you know, uh, I think the biggest thing is that the Ravens have a deep team. Okay. And a lot of guys that they wanted to keep, uh, they came back. You know, they, they lost a couple guys. I really lost like a guy like Kobe McClain. Obviously, Chuck Wilder, like I mentioned, and Tony Jefferson. But for the most part, the guys that the Ravens wanted back, they got back. All right, and that's the big news. Um, now, I do want to end it with this, not to end it on a bad note. Ronnie Stanley, once again, did not practice today. So, while he was activated off pup list, I'm kind of confused why the Ravens did it. But while he was activated off pup list, I don't know if he's going to play week one. I really don't. Because um, if he was, I think he would have been getting reps by now. So, maybe it's, it's got to be something bigger than just, oh, he has to get in football conditioning. Because we've been hearing that for too long now. Um, so we'll see what happens next to Ronnie Stanley. Hopefully it is just that and he's on the field soon, but he wasn't out there today, man. So that's the, the news and notes from the day from the Ravens. A lot of moves happen today. Busy day around the NFL and we're rolling into the season, man. Right around the corner. All right. It's your boy, Gabriel. This is Fan TV. I'm out.